Wake up, boys. Let's rock and roll. Making 2024 your year. Getting jacked, making cash, finding freedom. Because that's what I did from 2021 to 2023. 2021 was the first year where I really committed. I'm going to take charge of how I build my business, how I'm going to make money. Take charge of how I work on my body. Take charge of how I build relationships, how I meet girls. Like, everything I took charge starting in 2021, and I've been building from then. I started that journey before, but I started really taking it seriously 2021. And if you want 2024 to be your year where this is the year that you get jacked, that you make cash, that you find freedom, meet women, travel experiences, all the above, I'm going to explain to you how to do that. Now, the key mindset for 2024, and this is really what's going to take you to the next level, is you have to believe that you can win and that you will win. That's really the key. You have to believe that you can win. And that you will win. And the key word here is that you can and that you will. You must believe that it is possible. Okay? You have to believe that it is something you can do. Because if you don't believe that you can do it, if you don't believe that you can actually achieve the goal, if you can achieve the money where you're making 10K, 15K, 30K per month, if you don't believe you can, you're always going to hit way below where you do want to be. There's a difference between those who want to be somewhere and those who believe they can be in that place. It's not the same thing. And then you have to also believe that you will win. So you have to believe that you are the guy to make it happen. You have to believe that under any circumstance, no matter what, you will have success and you will have the life of your dreams. You will have the success that you want. Now, this book right here contains the key for 2024. This book contains the key, and I want you to read it. If there's any book you had to start with outside of getting good at sales, outside of getting good at business, this book is the secret. It's called Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, and I'm a huge fan of the teachings in this book. They contributed a lot to my life and how I orient my life and how I make decisions on a daily basis and the way that I treat my life. So I want you to read this book because what it explains is four really important things. It talks about Being who you want to be now and not waiting to be that person later. Because the truth is, that's the mistake a lot of people make. They say they want to be this person who's having success. They want to be this person who makes 250, 300, a mil a year. They want to say they're going to be that person, but they don't act like that person now. The habits they have now are not in line with being that guy now. So if you want to be the guy who has that kind of success, you need to start being that person now and bring that into the present. Who does that person act like? Who is that person, that future version of you who has that success and who is in that place where he has all the money in the world, he's got freedom to date who he wants, to live where he wants, to travel where he wants, run his business how he wants, he's got the body he wants. What are the habits that guy has and how do you build those habits now? I'm gonna explain and I'm gonna tell you how to do it here. So I'm gonna give all of this to you in the video. This is gonna be one of the best self-development videos you're ever gonna watch. We're gonna keep it short and sweet, but it's gonna explain all of this to you because I do it myself. So I'm gonna explain to you what to do. You also have to have intensity of commitment to the path. What this means is that your journey forward, you must be committed to a specific path forward and you cannot get distracted or turned off of that path. What is the future that you want? What's the vision? Maybe the vision is that you retire your mom. Maybe that's the vision for you. Maybe the vision for you is you have a beautiful family with five kids. Maybe that's your vision and your North Star. We call this in sales credit to Bill Walsh for who, who I've learned from for talking about this. It's called the North Star. What is your big vision for the future? What do you want to see show up in your future? And where are you trying to get to? What makes you go every day? You have to be committed to that path. And there has to be an intensity behind that commitment. Then there must be visualization of the future outcome. So what is that future outcome that you desire? What is it? What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? What does it taste like? I'm going to explain this in a bit. And I'm going to teach you how to visualize your future outcomes. But you must visualize the future. It has to be a real thing. It has to be something. The future has to be something that you feel that you can attain and that you can actually have, that you actually deserve. Because if you can't visualize a future, if you can't visualize or see a future, what are you doing? If you can't see it, you're, there's this verse in the Bible. I always say this. Without a vision, the people perish. I love this verse. It's my favorite one. And I'm not even that religious. I'm not religious at all. I'm spiritual. But I love that verse. And the reason why I like that verse is because it applies to self-development. It applies to self-mastery. It applies to getting to your goals in business, getting to your goals in life. You have to see the future and have a vision of it so that you can pursue it relentlessly. Then you need to set bigger goals. That's also the key. Whatever goals that you have set right now, they're probably too small. 
whatever the goal is. If your goal is, I want to be a closer and make 10K a month, you should be aiming for 50K a month. You should be aiming for 100K a month as a business owner, to be honest. Then you'll take actions in the present right now that are going to contribute to that future goal, and you'll probably hit below it, to be honest. That's mostly the time how goals work. That's usually what happens. You hit below the goal. But you're setting yourself up for success because your goals are so big, so you need to work harder to actually attain those goals. Now, I want to be clear. I have nothing to sell you. There's nothing I'm going to pitch you at the end of the video, but what I really want is for you to take action. I want you to take action. And then if you feel like this education is something you want and you actually want to get results and you want to be that guy who is in a position where he's making the money he wants and has the freedom that he wants, if you want that to be you, then subscribe. Press the red button. It's simple as that, but there is nothing I have to sell you, nothing I ask of you other than if you want to actually grow and you want to make a change in your life and you want to be that guy and get to the next level, press the subscribe button so you can get free education. I'll get to keep giving you more and more stuff here. Now, there's a couple boundaries. There's a guy, Mike Tyson, huge inspirational guy. There's something called boundaries and consistency. If you want to get results in your life, you must honor boundaries and you must be consistent because this is how you're going to escape the haze. That's the haze. The haze is where you're showing up and where there's people inside of your life that are distracting you and taking you away from where you want to be. Or there are distractions in your life, not just people. There's distractions that are taking you away from where you want to be. There's different environments that are taking you away from where you want to be. That is the haze. You need to escape the haze because that is the haze. The haze is all the things that prevent you from seeing where you actually want to be in life and take you off of the path where you don't know what's in front of you and you start going in the wrong directions. I don't want you to be stuck in the haze. So if you want to escape the haze, you need to have boundaries and you need to be consistent. There's two ways you can do this. Picking three things that you will do. We call these the three do's and then three things that you don't do. The will don't. I will not do this thing. So what are the three do's? For me, my core do's that I must do in the gym four times a week minimum, unless I'm training on a very specific project. As an example, I'm going to make a video about this. I haven't been to the gym in six weeks. I haven't stepped foot in the gym in six weeks because I've been training sales, going through a certain sales flow and sales cycle in my business extremely aggressively. I'm going to get back to the gym very, very soon and start going really hard and building back the body that I really wanted to have because I was doing really well with it and I got pretty, pretty in shape. I started looking really good, but I want to get back to that again. But unless you're specifically taking time off because you're replacing that time with something else that might be more important temporarily, get in the gym four times a week minimum. Train sales or whatever your skill set is. Maybe it's copywriting. Maybe you're doing something like marketing, whatever your skill is. Maybe you're doing graphic design, video editing. You need to train that four times a week as well. You can measure this hourly too. I train sales seven days a week. There's not a day I don't train sales. And that means I'm either watching my call recordings and taking notes on what I'm saying on the calls and trying to get better and breaking down what I could have done differently. Or I'm training with someone in one of the programs that I'm in inside of one of the programs that I've invested in. I'm in their program looking at their trainings or I'm role playing with other guys that I'm in the programs with and practicing going back and forth with them. But training sales is really important or training whatever your primary skill set is to get the primary skill set as good as you possibly can have it. Upload two times a week as well. This is another one. You need to have a face out there if you want to stand out. And this includes if you're going to be a closer, if you're going to work in high ticket, if you want to build a business, you have to make content because that's the new resume. That's the new digital footprint. It's your content. What do people see from you on IG? What do people see from you on YouTube? So for me, this is upload two times a week. I upload every Monday and every Thursday and I haven't missed a week in close to two months now. So I'm consistently uploading all the time. I'm training gym four times a week minimum. And normally I go five times and I'm training sales four times a week, or you should train sales four times a week. I train sales seven times, but normally I'm anywhere from four to seven times a week. I never go lower than that. Pick your three do's. Then what are your three don'ts? What are the don'ts for me? Those don'ts drinking of partying, drinking and partying. I'm not doing that. Cut that out completely. Now what's interesting is I will go out to bars. I want to be clear on this. I'm not going to tell you some bullshit here and make it sound like I'm some you know, saint, I will go out to bars and I'll hang out with friends. But when I'm at bars and clubs with friends, I'm not getting shit faced and not dancing the night away. I'm actually networking. I meet some super cool dudes in the environments I go to. Every time I go out to party, every time I go to a club or a bar, I'm not there like everyone else just partying and drinking my life away and kind of just like, oh, I'm, I hate my job. I'm here listening to music and then I'm going to go home staggering home and falling over myself. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. When I go out to bars, I treat it as a networking time. And it's super fun. I'm having jokes. We're laughing, but I'm getting closer to my guys that are high 
six figure, seven figure entrepreneurs. I'm with these guys hanging out with them, getting to know them, right? I'm talking with, I meet new guys. I'm always leaving with a few Instagrams, maybe meet a couple girls, but I'm not partying for the sake of partying. I'm actually using it as leverage to build my network, porn and scrolling, scrolling constantly, scrolling shorts, scrolling reels, scrolling the feed, looking at chicks 24 seven, just flooding your brain with unearned dopamine, dopamine that you didn't work for, dopamine that the haze is giving to you and keeping you trapped in. You're getting trapped in the haze when you scroll. I'm telling you, when you watch porn, you're getting trapped in the haze. You're dumbing yourself down, removing that. And then the poor circle of friends. That's another don't. What is your circle of friends like? If it's a poor circle of friends, you need to make changes. You need to adjust that. Who are the people that you're around? I'm around A players. I'm around successful guys. The women in my life, very high quality women. Who are the people that you're around? What are your circle of friends like? Let's get clear on that. That's your don'ts. Now, here's how you can build the path for yourself. On the right side, that's a piece of my vision board that I decided to share with you guys. Shout out Luke Alexander for talking about vision boards and this model of, of having a vision board. That's my, uh, my dream apartment for the next couple of years. It's a spot in Budapest that I want to grab and eventually buy over the next couple of years. Uh, I may not get that one specifically, but that's what the model looks like of what I want. Um, and right now I have a nice place. I have a really beautiful apartment actually, but it's not that level, right? That's something that's a bit out of what I, what's in my budget right now to buy something like that. So committing to the path is important. Intense visualization. What you want to do is build a mental model around your success. Do you see the success? So what does the success look like? Right? What if you were going to have success, what does it look like? I know what my success looks like. I know the car that I want to drive when I hit that point that I'm aiming for right now. And once I'm at that point, I'll be aiming for something else. But I know the car that I want to drive. I know how much is going to be in my bank account. I know the kinds of women I'm going to be around, the kind of relationship I'm going to have, the kids that I'm going to have. Ideally, you know, I want children. I, I know all of that. I know where I'm going to live. I know what I'm going to give back to my family. I know where I'm going to be placing money. I have a visual of it. But you have to build a mental model around the success and actually build a visual pathway where you – can consciously, not unconsciously, it's just some imaginary bullshit, but where you can literally taste, smell, hear, see the sights and sounds of this future that you want. And I have several different collections of memories. This is what they talk about in Psycho-Cybernetics. But future memories that I've created for myself that are attached to this future that I want. So I haven't experienced them, but this is what we call the power of the relived experience. Memory is so strong. And when you can, ha when you have a flashback to something you've experienced in your past, what will happen a lot of times is your brain will actually relive that experience just through memory and you'll begin to associate unconsciously that you are experiencing that again and you're almost reliving it just because of the memories associated with it, with the visuals, the sounds, the taste, the smells. So what I do is I bring that into my future. I take a future concept that I want to have. The money I'm going to have, the car I'm going to drive, the place I'm going to live, the girl I'm with, the child I have, the, play, the people I'm giving to, the friends I have, the places I'm eating, where I walk, how I talk, the business meetings I have, the sales I close, the numbers that I talk about. All of that I visualize and have it in my mental model and I meditate on it and I sit on it. I do this about three times a week. It doesn't take long, but I sit on it and I go into a deep meditative state. I ground myself. I'll make a video in the future about how to meditate to make more money and get more success because this has really helped me a lot. And I will meditate on my success. You can't do it in a way that's bullshit. Let me just uh, like doze off and sleep off and think about what I want. No, I go into a, in, in, an intense grounded space where I feel the ground coming up and almost swallowing me up and I surrender to this relived experience of my future. And I can see it, I can taste it, I can feel it, and then I go execute, then I go work, then I go grind, right? That's the path. There's this quote from the Navy SEALs that I absolutely love. Got this from my father years ago. He would always say this and when I was growing up, but I, and it comes from SEALs and, and Navy SEAL training. The only easy day was yesterday. <laughs> Every single day, push yourself more than you did the last day. Every single day, take one step forward. The only easy day was yesterday because when you realize just how good you were the day before and you move the needle forward, you'll understand this quote. The only easy day was yesterday. Every day is a new battle that you're taking on to push the needle forward and to get to where you want to be. Your day-by-day -day focus is important. So you have to realize, here's what I, what I want for all of you watching this. I want you to understand this and I'm going to help you get there over the next couple of months. I'm going to help you. We're going to do this together. Every day-by-day -day focus, you need to understand, each day is an opportunity. 
Okay, every single day from here on out, starting now, at the moment you're hearing me talk to you, starting now, going forward, every single day is an opportunity for you to have success. It's an opportunity for you to back yourself and put yourself in the position where you're going to have success. If you get better by 1% every single day, you will get to your goals. Even if you get better by half a percent every day. If you just get better, make that extra video. Make that Instagram post, reach out to that influencer to potentially work for them, close that deal, train in that sale, write that extra article for your copywriting business, do extra work on your marketing agency, reach out to someone to network for the, with them and have a coffee, spend five grand, 2.5K on a program that's going to help you move the needle forward and get better in your skill set, get better by 1% every single day. And then you start watching your wins because you're going to see yourself winning. You're going to see deals coming in. You're going to see yourself closing. This is how I went from making almost nothing as a closer to hitting months from doing 10, 15, 20 K. The reason is because I've started watching my wins. I watched myself winning and then those wins stack over time. They add up and it boosts your confidence. It boosts your ego. You begin to associate, Hey, I'm the guy who wins. I'm the guy who's supposed to have success. I am meant for success. I am meant to win. I'm a fucking winner. And you keep on showing up. And if you fail, you go again. You don't stop. If you fail, you go again. Just because you mess up once, just because you watch porn once, just because you smoke that weed one time and you were on a streak of not doing it for a long time and you mess up once you still have the next day you still have the same day in fact you can decide right now i'm just not going to continue i won't do it anymore because all you have and here's the key man here's the fucking key all you have is the present moment you have no other moment other than that all the stuff about the future you can use that as a tool to affect your present but the future never arrives because all you have is the now the future doesn't actually exist all you have is right now right? Keep on showing up. And if you fail, go again and understand that all you have is the present moment. There's a, there's a principle that you can follow. That's going to help get you to that next level. And it's the 10 X rule from Grant Cardone. If you don't know Grant Cardone, you should know him. Huge fan of him. Um, great, great dude. As far as motivating for sales, motivating for money, motivating for action. Great dude. Check his stuff out. So there's something called the 10 X rule. And what it implies is that what it means is that you have to set bigger goals and those bigger goals are going to lead to bigger action. So whatever the goal is that you have set a 10 X multiplier, right? So my goal in terms of revenue for me, what that looks like is $250,000. That's the goal for me, right? And it's not the most massive goal, but my goal consistently to make sure is 250. So I changed that goal and I said 2.5 million. That's where I really want to hit too. And I need to become a 2.5 million kind of guy, which means the deals that I make have to be in line with someone who makes 2.5 mil. And I know exactly how I'm going to do that. I know how I'm going to create it. And I will create it. I absolutely will create it. That is not a question. But I have to now in the present be in line with that guy who's at 2.5 mil, right? And once I'm getting there, I'm going to shift the goal to become 20 mil, 30 mil, whatever it's going to be, right? So more content, that implies this is what I have to do to get there. More content, posting two times a day on all the different platforms, increase my closing opportunities. So how do I make deals with people? How do I bring people into my network and how do I offer to serve them and offer to help them train relentlessly, get better and better and better. Don't stop training. What's your goal? That's the question. What's your goal? Whatever your goal is, you need to think better because this is what's going to take you into success in 2024. And I think I said think better, but it's think bigger. It's both actually. Think better and think bigger. Once you start thinking bigger, you then to start to think better. What is your goal? Whatever that goal is, you need to think bigger about it. You need to make it bigger and expand the goal bigger than what you thought was possible. And bring that goal into 2024 with you and become the man who deserves to be at that place? Because I'm telling you, my friend, it doesn't happen easily. You have to deserve it. You actually have to deserve it. It's not just going to come to you. The universe doesn't bless those who don't deserve it. It really doesn't, honestly. There's another verse in the Bible. I'm going to keep throwing Bible verses here. It says, God reigns on the just and the unjust. He reigns on the bad and the good. But the people who show up for themselves, bad guys show up too. That's the truth. There's bad guys throughout history who show up and did the work. They're, they're bad dudes. So instead of you being a bad guy and showing up and do the work, be the good guy who shows up and do the work. Let the universe bless you. Get what you want, but you have to show up and do the work and you have to make those goals as big as possible because then and only then can you be that man who deserves to have that success and steps out of the haze and isn't like everyone else. If you want that life of freedom, you want that life to live anywhere you want, travel anywhere you want, date any girls you want, 
increase your access to positive experiences and have an amazing network of guys and stop watching from the sidelines, staying in the haze, just looking through the little windows at what everyone else is doing, you got to think bigger. Okay, take care, be blessed. Wake up, step out of the haze. Let's go, let's take some action. I'll see you on the next one.